This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Just got back from Promo to Billet in Sector 7 doing a big old film shoot there. I have a bunch of crap in the way of the Razor, and the Razor needs to get some love before we go to Oregon. So we're gonna go to Goons in the Dunes, and Ian and I and Taylor and Ben and a bunch of people are gonna go ride Winchester Bay, Oregon um, in the middle of winter. So uh, I don't want all this extra weight on the Razor out in the dunes, especially because I don't have paddles. So I need to clean this mess up, need to get all that crap off. It's not crap. Razorback Off-Road, great cages. Check them out online, razorbackoffroad.com. But all this extra weight needs to come off. So I uh, gotta get to that. Gotta rewire the lights up to the top or remove them or something. And then, yeah, get her ready for the dunes. I get the razor all ready for Uncle Ben. And what does he do? He goes out and he tries to play tag with the trees and he bends the airfoil all to hell. Why we can't have nice things, kids. All right, got half of it off and uh, watching the boys up on the dirt life. All right, so cage is all off. Everything is looking good there. Very minimal. We're going super light on this trip. I don't want to waste time with too much stuff up there. Um, down inside the cab, I've taken the seats out and uh, we're putting the Invictus uh, Molly uh, system back in there. If we go back over here, we can see the Molly system. is a large flat piece of Molly that goes along the back firewall and then you can customize this however you want. So in here, I got some basic um, shackles and stuff. Uh, in here, I got some big heavy duty D-ring shackles. Then in the big pouch, I have our big uh, voodoo recovery rope. Um, so if I open this up, you can see uh, the big rope in there. And then we have in this one, um, a couple soft shackles, and then we have a tree saver. Um, normally I'd run a couple of these on here, but I think since we're mostly in the sand, I only need to carry one. Last time we were out, Ian got some self stuck. We ended up using the tree saver as a winch point, A-frame style to pull the back end up out of the sand, out of a tree that came in super handy. So we'll take at least one of those. Um, as always, you know, take some bailing wire, take some recovery rope, um, lots of zip ties, all that stuff. Make sure to have multiple fire extinguishers. In this case, we also have the power tank set up over here. Comes on a double bracket, uh, super secure. And these will supposedly fill up a 32 to running pressure multiple times. So hopefully we don't have to test it this trip, but just in case uh, we have them. Also have the sacket to make sure that all of our goods are cleaned up off the dunes, keep our trails and dunes clean and um, keeping the Razorback off-road hood, or I'm sorry, uh, windshield, uh, roof, foil, and rear windshield. We're gonna see how that setup does. Last time we didn't have it. Running the GPS with the iPad. Don't need it in the dunes, but it, it's gonna be fun to see, you know, our tracks in the dunes and see how much, how that actually looks. You always think that you do a ton of riding out there, and I think it'll be interesting to see just what those tracks look like. Um, full throttle. Obviously powering the Razor and uh, yeah, should be a good time. Um, looking forward to getting out and filming. And uh, yeah, shop's a mess, getting ready for a rip. Let's go. That's the color you want after 1600 miles. Nice and golden brown. These little doohickeys are awesome oil filters. Uh, well, not oil filters. They're awesome for grabbing oil filters. So as you can see, it has a swing arm design and it's on a 3 8 wrench. And basically it's a pretty simple concept. For removal though, these suckers are awesome and they're universal um, sizes. This is a Husky one from Home Depot, but other brands make them. This thing has been a lifesaver more than once and something you should have in your uh, garage. They're only like 
five, eight bucks, something like that. Oh, heck yeah. The boys are back in town. Zach buys $5,000 camera. Also, Zach films on iPhone. <laughs> How's it going, Taylor? How you doing? Oh. Dude, long time Putting you on the spot. What are you expecting out of this trip? Uh, go fast, go up sweet dance. So you're riding an Ian's car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I just shoot some cool, cool rigs doing cool stuff. That's, that's the plan. So Cam's on the film crew this trip. Oh yeah. Gonna make some bangers. Yep, back in the car, should be fun. So yeah. I'm stoked. Get some uh, flashbacks to Idaho. Yep. Should make okay. for a good time. Hopefully faster, more wheelies. Ooh, <laughs> got a Razor, got a Taylor Postel. What's up? Got an Ian. What are you uh, expecting from this trip, Taylor? Uh, a lot of water. A lot of water? <laughs> oh man, don't be jinxing us already. No, we'll have uh, some sunshine, some roosts. Yeah, and you you were gonna have your car here, but it uh, looks like you're not gonna have it. No, transport companies decided to Leave it, nice. leave it where it was. Where it was. Yeah. <laughs> Take their money and not uh, bring it. So. They must be like Honda guys or something. Probably. Maybe <laughs> Kawasaki. Or Kawasaki. So, all right. Well, we're almost done loading up. Got the Kyle car. She's almost strapped down. And uh, yeah, cold morning here in the Northwest, but we're gonna make her happen. Stop of the Oregon Logs Company for a little fishy fishy. What are you putting in your mouth? Some salmon sticks. Salmon sticks? How do you eat a salmon stick? Uh, they're on a kebab. How does a pro eat a salmon stick? Just like that. Mm, I don't know. That was a nibble. Well, it's just like an ice cream. Uh... I was told here in Oregon. Call those popsicles? Yeah. It's a meat popsicle. What did you get? Uh, garlic pepper. You told me this is the only thing that he has. It's, it's common, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Shit, was it? Three guys hitting their meat together is a kind of an awkward situation. Hey, can we touch sticks again? <laughs> Winchester Bay. We got the truck uh, being parked in our camp spot and we got the Kyle car and the turbo out here. We were also joined by uh, Ben and his kid out here with the YXZ so we'll get to rip with them again this year and uh, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. drove all the way from frickin' Winchester Bay to Coos Bay. Just eat at McDonald's. Yes, sir. We're gonna eat like kings. In the 
the trailer, home sweet home. Gonna get some editing done, and then I'm gonna hit the sack. All the boys went up to the hotel, but no one's down here to watch the side by side, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting some work done, nice and quiet, and then crashing. So, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I know the boys are gonna be doing out some, uh, some lifestyle stuff for full throttle. Um, but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is go get some scenic stuff, go get some cool shots of the car, and uh, I don't know, think about it tonight and see if I can't come up with something cool to make. But uh, we're just out here having fun, good time. We'll see, um, we'll see what I come up with. Well, there starts the rain. Mm-hmm.